I'm gonna show you all of the turnstiles at Magic Kingdom, and I'll give you all the tips and tricks you need to navigate them as a plus size person. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic that Disney and Florida has to offer plus size people. And today I'm going to show you all of the turnstiles that are at Magic Kingdom. I don't think I'm gonna miss any of them, and if I do, make sure you mention it down in the comments below. So today I'm gonna to take you around on a tour of the turnstiles. There are a few turnstiles throughout the park, and all of them are ones that you can either walk through with ease or there's a way to get around them. And I'm gonna show you that. You'll have all the tips and tricks you need to navigate all of the turnstiles at Magic Kingdom as a plus size person. I'll also show you accessibility information as well. Let's get started. There is no better place to start this turnstile tour than here at the Main Street Station. Each of the steam train stops has a turnstile at it. We're gonna check out each one of them and we'll check out the turnstiles that are at other rides and attractions along the way. I've always found this turnstile at the Main Street Station to be one of the more difficult ones to navigate. Um, let me show it to you. Now this turnstile on the left has a trash can next to it. I have actually asked them to remove it so that I could get through the turnstile without issues. I feel like this one's a little easier to negotiate than the other one on the other side. negotiate that by turning sideways. It's really not that bad. Now if you're worried about getting through that turnstile, all you have to do is ask for help. There's an accessible entrance that bypasses the turnstiles altogether, and a cast member will be happy to help you with that. The Swiss Family Treehouse is another Adventureland attraction that also has a turnstile. This one looks really small. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, this turnstile is another tight turnstile. I'm gonna check and see if there's a way around this to get to this attraction. It kind of looks like there might not be. Let's see, we'll ask a cast member and find out for sure. There's the turnstile there. And here, it looks like there's a roped off separate entrance that you can use to get into this attraction. I wasn't able to find a cast member to tell me if that's what this is for, but I think that might be it. It's really rare that there isn't a cast member out in front of an attraction to help you. I'm flummoxed. However, it does appear that there is a separate little ramp entrance that does merge with the other one on the other side so that you can unhook that rope and just go through there. Hopefully when you come, there'll be a cast member and you can confirm it yourself, but it does look like there's a way to bypass that turnstile. So Aladdin's Magic Carpets is another ride that has a turnstile just before you enter the ride to board it. The turnstile isn't super tight. I'm able to negotiate it. I turn a little bit sideways and I'm able to get through it. Unfortunately, there's more than a 30 minute wait for this ride right now, so I can't really get a clear shot of it for you, but I wanted you to know that it's there. I checked with a cast member and there is a special gate that they can open so that you can completely bypass that turnstile. If you take a look at it, you think you aren't going to be able to navigate it. Anytime you have any worries about that, make sure you check in with a cast member. They'll be more than happy to help you. The Enchanted Tiki Room is another Adventureland attraction that has a turnstile. Let's go check it out. It's very much like the one that you'll see right across the way at Magic Carpet. Here at the Tiki Room, they also have a turnstile, and the width of this one is very similar to the one across the way at Aladdin's Magic Carpets. But if you feel like you can't negotiate this, right next to it is a handicapped entrance, and there's always a cast member nearby that you can talk to and ask them if you can use this instead. Now, I would take some video of me going through this turnstile, but unfortunately, the moment that I took the video, they were at capacity at this theater and they closed off the turnstiles. But trust me, I am able to get through this turnstile. I turn a little bit sideways and I just pop right through. This one works very much like the one at the Magic Carpets ride, which is right across from the Tiki Room. Okay, 
we're here at the Frontierland station, and I'm gonna check out the turnstiles here on stop number two. Now I've talked to some cast members, and I've learned that the train is actually going to shut down starting, I believe it's December 8th of 2018. They're shutting down the train as part of the Tron construction. So as that Tron roller coaster is being built, this whole train track will be shut down. And one of the things that some of the cast members mentioned to me is that so many people complain about the turnstiles and being able to get through them because of their personal size or because of strollers and so forth, that there's some consideration that might be taken into possibly revamping these turnstiles in the future. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I don't have a solid answer on that. But I can tell you one thing. If everybody who watches this video writes a letter to guest relations or email or text and lets them know that you don't like the turnstiles on the train, you never know, they might change it. Oh wow, I totally forgot how tight this turnstile is. It's even tighter than the one at the Main Street station. It's been a long time since I've ridden this. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. All the way down. Oh, that is tight. <laughs> that was really tight, but it was really doable. I was able to do it. It was not fun though. <laughs> now, if you ever see a turnstile like that, you think, holy moly, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. Make sure you grab a hold of a cast member, let them know, and they will help you bypass that turnstile altogether. Don't worry about that. They're happy to help you. Okay, this is the entrance to the Country Bear Jamboree, and this is a really tight turnstile. I am actually not able to make it through this turnstile. I can never go through this area here at all, even when I turn sideways, so I'm not even gonna attempt it. There's the turnstiles there. This is the entrance for the turnstiles, but if you pivot a little over here, you see there's a doorway here, and this is the door that I used to get in. You don't even have to ask a cast member to use this. You can just walk up and use it. Isn't it great to know that you can very easily access this show without having to go through those turnstiles by using the doors that are immediately behind me. The show opens at 11 a.m. every day. That's when we unlock those doors. You can start using them right away for as long as the show is open. I'm standing just outside the Liberty Square Liberty Bell ride. This attraction isn't open today because they're doing some maintenance on the attraction. Although this attraction is not currently running, they did allow me to come over here and shoot the turnstiles for you. I know this can be something that's hard for people to navigate. Let's have a look at them. As you can see, they are set in place. If you take a look at this, you can see that my body is basically the exact width of this entrance. I'm pretty sure that I could negotiate this if I turn sideways. I have just a little bit more room as you can see here and I'd probably be able to navigate this pretty easily. In fact, I know in the past that I have made it through those turnstiles successfully, but you know, not everybody feels comfortable turning sideways or having to kind of hop over it. So don't worry about that. There are cast members stationed in front of this attraction and they can actually take you to a side entrance. Um, that entrance, if you're facing the attraction, is off over here on this side. If there's a ramp, they can walk you up and let you in an entrance where you don't have to go through a turnstile. It's the same entrance that's used for ECVs and wheelchairs, but anyone can use it if you don't feel comfortable with the turnstiles. Our next stop on the turnstile tour is the Fantasyland Station. Let's check them out. As you approach here, you can see there's the turnstile that's located right over here, and there's also an accessibility entrance over here. If you think you're gonna have an issue with the turnstile, check in with a cast member and they will help you get through that accessible entrance so you can bypass the turnstile altogether. Now this is a tight turnstile, but it's one that even I can manage. Let's have a look at it. Years ago, they moved this gate over to make this space a little wider. I can actually negotiate this with ease, but if you look over here, this area here, believe it or not, on the other side has an even wider entrance. Um, I'm just gonna walk through it and see how I do. So 
as you can see, that turnstile was pretty easy for me to negotiate. I went through the smaller side just to let you see what that would be like. The other side has a little more room and is perfectly easy for me to get through. The Mad Tea Party is another one of the rides that has a turnstile in it. And that turnstile is within the queue just before you go to load in on the ride. That turnstile is pretty wide and I haven't had any issues negotiating it in the past. In fact, I almost forgot that it was there until I walked by and I happened to notice it. I'm not actually going to shoot that because this ride has over a 30 minute wait right now and I don't have the time to wait in line just to show you that one turnstile. But I can tell you that it is a bit wider and if you feel a little weird about it when you see it, like you don't want to use it, grab a cast member. They will be happy to put you through the accessible entrance and open that gate for you so you can bypass the turnstile altogether. Well guys, it's time to hit up Tomorrowland and hit the last of the turnstiles that we've got to show you, which are at Carousel of Progress and People Mover. The next stop on our tour of turnstiles is Carousel of Progress. It's got one of the narrowest turnstiles in the entire park. In fact, I don't even bother to try to go through it, but let's check it out and I'll show you how I navigate it. Okay, here are the turnstiles, and I just watched some average sized people struggle to get through them. So I'm not going to use that. I'm gonna stand right over here and wait for the cast member to approach and let me in through here. The last ride on our tour of turnstiles at Magic Kingdom ends here at the People Mover. This attraction does have a turnstile just before you get on the ramp to go up to the ride, but the turnstile is super generous. I've never had an issue with it whatsoever. I can pass through it with ease. The line for this ride is over 30 minutes, so I don't really have the time to actually go in and walk through it for you. Maybe I can get a shot of it so you can see just how generously sized it is. Let's take a shot. but here's your turnstile and right next to it is a chain area. So if you think you will have trouble navigating that turnstile, you do have the option to ask your cast member if you can go through this chain area. I do find that that turnstile is very generously sized. I have no issues passing through it at all at my size. But if you think you're gonna have a little difficulty navigating it, just flag down your cast member and let them know that you want to go through the chain entrance instead they'll be happy to assist you. Thank you so much for joining me today on this tour of turnstiles here at Magic Kingdom. I hope you find this information really helpful and that it will make your trip a little more relaxing and less anxious for you. Remember, life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.